dear friends of the non European art and culture. This is Ingo from about Africa and the rest of the world. And on Tuesday and Wednesday, I was on the Parcours de Monde 2021. It was the Parcours number 20. And yes, yesterday night I arrived and on the first day I did a lot of photos, which I posted now on about minusafrica.de on my website. And I did a lot of filming and now you will see the first of these videos. I just, to be honest, I just wanted to make two or three videos, two, but I think there will be three or four because there are so many interesting objects to see. And let's start now. And let's start with uh, Patrick Fröhlich from Zurich. Patrick Fröhlich, they have always very good items like this. I think it's Obangi. It was one of my favorites, to be honest. It was a really great, fantastic object. Okay, I couldn't afford it, but yeah, it's, it, it was a good one. And yeah, we, he is a very good Maconde. You can't see it too well because of the white wall in the back, but okay, you see it. And this was, I think, his famous, Fröhlich's famous. This is the Mumuya mask. Uh, it was exhibited, I think, 1971 in the Swiss. So it's a famous one, and it's a great one, very interesting one. It's not something I like totally, but it's a great object, a really great object, one of the masterpieces there. You have uh, other objects like coaters and, and whatever. You know, it's serious. You know, Fröhlich always has good items there. He always has a very good performance on the parkour. And he was, I think he was even at the first parkour ever, 20 years ago he was there. So no, he's really in parkour aficionado <laughs> here in Paris. And what we'll have at the end, yes, still the San Paso, <laughs> which always reminds me of this one movie, you know, the Schweigen der Lämmer, it's in English, uh, it's in German, Schweigen der Lämmer, you know, it's spooky. Okay, next is Eric Hertho. You see, this is a very classical coater, a very good coater. I think I met Hertho last time on the Bourgogne Tribal show, and Hertho has always good quality as well. This is a very good hamber, of course. And here are some, <laughs> some drawings and some objects. And uh, is this is a Basica Zingo, I think it's Basica Zingo. As you see, it's nice you and of course the Zonga yeah it's always good now Ferrande I was a Ferrande fan in the, the early times for example he had a fantastic comp exhibition and yeah you have to be look what he has and uh, and this is of course a very good Bali we don't have to talk about it this is good here this is maybe Sande or Mangbetu Sande I think there people will know much better with not very nice face and yeah, <laughs> this is a type of mask I, for some time ago, at Semenek could buy this. I think I saw two or three of them at the parkour this time. Here, uh, see, you see the whole thing. And on the right, you don't see it so very well. It's here, it's Mumuya, a nice one. And there are more objects. You know, th this parkour, there were a lot of good objects, but there were not so many wow objects. There have been some wow objects, but not so many. And this is true for, for all dealers, all galleries that had great, great objects, but not so many where you say, oh, I will get the crying, if you say it. crying, positively crying. <laughs> and so good objects, good on, good points. You can sell. This is, one, of course, a great one. And here is uh, where it is. Yeah. This is a very good Sinoho, of course. It's, it's a very, very good object. Maybe not for crying, but it's a very, very good object. But in the back is one, as I would say, was one of the wow objects. And now, yeah, <laughs> I love my camera movements. It used to be Togo. It was Togo with a question mark in the catalog. It was fantastic. And here is another, another smiling Zonge, of course. And yeah, for that was good this time. Yeah. Jude Book had a special ex uh, exhibition about uh, Cuba, you know, the Cuba in Africa, in, in, in the Congo, not the one where else. And this is a very nice object, for example, it was not, I think, I don't know whether it's Cuba or from near Cuba or whatever. That's a good one. And uh, yeah, here more Cuba. This is where the, 
the raffia uh, textiles. They are very famous for doing these and you can sometimes get one for 80 euros but of course not for this quality. This is a hat I really loved a lot of, was one of my favorites. But once again uh, with the raffia things this is great and amazing. This you never get for 80 or 100 or 500 whatever. This was another object, look, look, look like the, the, the legs for example which I liked a lot of if I would have money, <laughs> but I don't have money because uh, yeah, some a week ago I bought something from a modern Augsburg artist a painting and so I had no money to spend on the parkour de mode. I just had to do filming and photos. Here once again, fantastic Huber Texter. Dustar, Dustar was there. Dustar has always good items, good exhibitions. And as you see, Cameron, he likes Cameron very much, but others as well. I remember a very good Siberia exhibition. I think it was uh, two or three years ago. The objects from Siberia. This time, two star was good. Yeah. And let's see what there else is. Yeah, some Sanufo. Nice hat. And uh, <laughs> now we are back. I think that the Inuit and. Yeah, this is a figure with a very long nose, if it's a nose or maybe it's a pipe, Once, which I saw three or four times too. This is <laughs> an object you, see, you could see now, with a long nose, here's another one, in, in several galleries. And if you need a mask, take a mask. <laughs> and yes, and Duster has a fable for, for skulls like this one, which is a very well made and very good one. Yeah, it was Duster. And De Grune, or De Grune, or whatever De Grune, he had for me the best objects of the whole parkour. And this is one of the three. They come from Madagascar. Look, they're great, great. The lightning is great, but what? Well, look at this sculpture. It's so perfect. You know, the face is perfect, the eyes are perfect, you know, the hands, how they're made and for this musician. I was. Wow, this for me were the wow objects. The three you see the left, this one in the middle, and the other one on the right side. Look at the calm, look how she is, she is looking. Madagascar art as its best. Yes, I heard that they were not so new, that someone, they, they were new for, for several years in the scene, but to see it in, in real life was really fantastic. This was absolute wow, wow, wow. Another, I think this is from South Africa, which is very, <laughs> very interesting from all angles. Of course, we're still at the Grune. And uh, what else do we have? I think there is, we are so, yes, very, very good stuff from, from uh, South Africa. Look at this face. It was amazing. This is an amazing point. Yeah, it's amazing. And this one is too. <laughs> Look at the hairs and everything and, and how it looks. Yes, this is a good one too. I think the other th two have been even better than this one from South Africa. But here, a good mask. And uh, at the end, I think we have, yeah, it's once again. Mustafa, and yet cameraman, go, go, go. And now you, yes, you know, can see it, the light. It's now not only dark. Great. 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 Now, a very interesting point was Dordier. You know, the, the gallery exists, the Dordier exists for 60 years. That means this was an anniversary, anniversary exhibition and he had a lot of great objects and paintings and masterpieces, but in a very, very tiny gallery room. And that was a little strange, you know? It's like, like, like a museum where you have a lot of objects there in the depot. And it is fantastic. Look at the Puno, look at the other. Look at the very, very strong fang. This was maybe the best fang I could see on the, on the parkour. And the coat is good. And, and he has and the, this whatever dog on it. And great objects, but you know, in just in this small space. So it was a pity for me. And once again, a figure with this very long nose. <laughs> it was absolutely trendy, <laughs> these objects from Papua New Guinea. New Guinea. And here from the Marquesas. Some, yeah, which I like a lot of, and of course I'm not again so great objects, but only a tiny room. <laughs> yes, and, oh no, once again with the Solomon thing, yeah, yeah, and the again, again, well, and more masterpieces, yeah, yeah. But you see, it's just a very small room, and yeah, and the Bali at the end, the Bali 
and yes, and at the end for the first part of the video, I think, I think it's at the end now, at Gallery Flag, look at this Malaga, this Tatanua mask. I never saw one which is so realistic. I never saw one with the, the teeth. For me, this was was maybe the second wow objects I saw at the here at the Pakura. The main uh, exhibition, the main theme of uh, Flak now, however, was uh, it was the uh, Arctic, you know, Arctic with uh, Inuit and things like that. And yes, he had some very nice items, not always too easy to film, but very nice items from the Inuit and, and, and whatever, and from uh, North and Native Americans. And, and here, Flak is always had the good exhibitions have you know he's he's got maybe the best uh, kachina dolls but this is not kachina this is a different thing but he of course has not only very good uh, uh, objects of the arctic but others as well look at this and there's a good tatanua mask and uh, yeah and uh, other objects and the ituri mask i have to say ituri mask are bad i like them a lot so this was the first part and I hope to see you for the second. Okay. Bye.